Thank you for keeping us company. We now move to our discussion tonight. Well, let's talk about youth empowerment. And uh, just like I have mentioned, we are fighting COVID-19 and most of the youth are home. And uh, if you remember what happened yesterday, there were uh, some uh, persons, some youth who were involved in vandalizing the Ford Kenya offices. And is that the position of the youth really? Let's get to business right now. I'm speaking to Timothy Ntagana, his uh, motivation speaker. Uh, send us your comments or questions to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel in, on Instagram, Y254 channel on Facebook and Instagram. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hey, it's been a while since the, I last saw you. I do many, sir. Ah, si, sir. Now, um, we've, we've had our youth being um, misused, I mm. could say, yeah. uh, when it comes to dealing with uh, say politics, how do you want to make a how do you want to make a demonstrations or anything? As in, uh, the youth have been found to be the lightweight. And I remember in the morning I was, I was having a conversation where uh, one of the panelists was saying it's about time the youth wake up. Mm. We shouldn't be misused. Now, speaking of COVID 19, how do you think the, resp the response of the youth is towards the pandemic? Well, um, the it's, it's a sad reality because uh, youth are the majority of the population. So mm -hmm. when it comes to the response of COVID-19, mm -hmm. uh, the youth have a very big and huge role to play. Number one, like everyone is expected, we are all expected to obey the guidelines that are set by the government, the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. That is not only for, for the youth, but uh, they want to test mm. uh, they want to test the waters mm -hmm. so so the first and the huge responsibility of every young person is to obey kiambu mm -hmm. mask va mask kiambu washa mkono washa mkono sema mkono inangara sana hiyo si it is even the better unajua wengine hata waoga so wakati unaambu uoge na umeko maji hapo ya bure oga because of wengine shikona ume unaona sasa eh so it's that's the first and the the mm -hmm. the, the, the most important responsibility mm -hmm. um the youth has they also have a very huge responsibility when it comes to education. Mm -hmm. um, educating the other, the, the other part of generation, you know, we have the access to information. Mm -hmm. Social media, uh, obviously, Corona, a lot of uh, misguided information. Mm -hmm. Myths, there are a lot of myths. So I think the youth have a huge responsibility when it comes to giving out the right facts mm -hmm. uh, and the most accurate um, information when it comes to how to protect yourself, how to, uh, how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So education has a very huge uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. um, which also comes in other, with another responsibility of learning because you need to learn in order for you to educate people. Mm -hmm. and, and life is a learning process. We never stop learning. Someone actually said, mm -hmm. um, you even learn how to die. <laughs> uh -huh. you, must, you never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Actually. So you, it's, it's, it's important to learn. Mm -hmm. And that is also one of the other things that youths can do. Mm -hmm. when, um, right now we have a lot of time to make a home. Mm -hmm. The internet in Mefanyu are available uh, in most places. So, memes. Which is okay, even me, I do that. And, but 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 uh, it is also important that we take a step further. Mm -hmm. um, Google has over 130 courses that are free for for learning, and they range from career development, from public speaking, from uh, software development. Mm -hmm. Yani the, from the basics of what you need to do as a young person, mm -hmm. uh, how you dress, how you speak, how you carry yourself. If you just Google uh, Google Digital Garage, mm -hmm. they offer a, a wide variety of courses that uh, that I think could be very beneficial to a young person right now. I am, I am partaking in several courses right now. Mm -hmm. They are very short, actually, one hour, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Some go even 30 hours, depending on Kama code in Sasa, Kama when into a code in Internet, is of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are courses that run for even 30 hours. Right. So, but but, but the, the point is, those resources are there and they are free. They are not charged. You just need your bundles and, and, uh, and, and internet and you're good to go. Mm. So, and, and you acquire a lot of knowledge. So, so, so education is important. Learning is important. I, I always encourage young people to be 
uh, to love learning. Learning, learning is, is, is important. Actually, now that you have mentioned about education, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm looking at the ignorant people in the villages. Mm -hmm. I have seen people say there is no corona, especially the people in the rural. Yeah. And we have the youth there who mm -hmm. have smartphones, they can access internet, they know what is happening. Yes. And they, I am guessing, um, I believe they should be the people telling our parents in the villages, this is corona, this is how corona behaves. You're very right. And, and that is what I said. The youth have a huge responsibility because they have access to that information, you know. When I was coming, 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 if you don't know Kinangop. And I have interacted with quite a number of young people. Now, I was going to say, I was going to go to Nairobi. 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 And that is a very wrong attitude because this, this is a, a reality that is uh, that is happening to us. Everyone is affected. Mm -hmm. um, the, it is said that uh, everyone is affected, but few are infected. So mm -hmm. the affected part of it, depending on, on the degree that you are, it, it only matters the degree, mm -hmm. not that you're not affected. Okay. Um, so, so, so the youth, you are very right, the youth have a very huge uh, responsibility to, to demystify those myths True. And, uh, and, and to give the accurate information. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, um, when, when COVID came, mm -hmm. everyone was told to stay home. Yes. And of course, this involves even the uh, varsity students. They mm -hmm. went home. Mm -hmm. They were home. And majority of them, if not mm -hmm. all, uh, had free time to yes. do what they could. Yes. And I'm looking at this particular group of people who abuse drugs. Mm -hmm. Now they have freedom. Mm -hmm and they have time mm -hmm. and they, they have now the free will to do what they want. Yeah. Now, how, how do you encourage someone? It is not time to have fun mm -hmm. in as much as you're not schooling mm -hmm. or even if you're doing online classes, yeah. you have so much time for mm -hmm. idle cases. And that's why actually maybe we could be speaking of the teenage pregnancy. Yes. What's your take on this? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, now uh, it's, it's very f uh, interesting that you mentioned that because I work with a very, I have a, a small group of university students whom we, we, we mentor and coach in their life processes. Mm -hmm. and, and that is also another challenge to the older generation. You know, when you talk about young people, mm -hmm. they are not an island. They are in between. Mm -hmm. They are the next generation. So kuna, kuna generation go ahead that is supposed to offer mentorship and support mm -hmm. and, uh, and guidance to these young people. Mm -hmm. um, parents should be able to, to, to offer and to avail these resources to the young people mm -hmm. and, and, and also keep in track of, of what is happening. You see now when we are told to stay home, see mm vijana peke walika home, pia wazazi. And the parents should not assume that they, they are safe, wakosawa, watajichunga, ni watu wazima. That is not a very right uh, mentality. Um, even my parents, they refer to their, to their parents, who are my grandparents, for guidance uh, once in a while. Mm -hmm. and, ni, and, and so it is, it is a chain. It is a chain of, again, going back to learning, you see. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I believe that the time, and that is why I, I, I said, the issue of having the resources like the Google Digital uh, Garage, mm -hmm. um, if, even if your online class goes for about two hours or three hours in a day, you can spend another hour learning how to speak in public. Uh, you can learn, you can take two or three hours learning how to do uh, software development, web designing. And mm -hmm. these are things that will help you even in future uh, when we talk about employment issues because you can be able to do something by yourself without necessarily depending on the mm -hmm. government or your parents and mm -hmm. and that 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 so so the issue of time mm -hmm. um time management is is quite key to young people because we we have the notion that but it's gonna time since in vijana i'm only 25 i'm only 20 i'm only 30 mm -hmm. uh, life begins at 40 so no no what any energy in any need at any kids two or three hours years in tari cover too that is very wrong <laughs> speaking very of wrong. time mm -hmm. uh we have this uh jama mwenye alikuwa mianza kuhasu alikuwa mianza kupanga life yake kwa ime ingiana mm -hmm. alafu say ndu uyo corona ime come mm -hmm. hana job hana do na alikuwa pengine mianza kusupport home how does this person now get the uh, the sense of belonging mm -hmm. and uh, knowing the responsibilities ahead uh si lazima as in ile as a situation now that one calls number one 
for self acceptance eh? you know when when everything was shut down it was not shut down to specific individuals it True. was shut down to everyone mm -hmm. and how you you react uh, is, is is very important for mm -hmm. me individually pia mimi tuliambiwa tukae home Mm -hmm. And uh, we offer trainings, leadership trainings for young people that range from uh, how you grow your relationship with Christ mm -hmm. all the way to how you birth your vision, how you set your goals for those visions, mm -hmm. how you lead a, a goal-oriented lifestyle, how you overcome obstacles, and finally, how you live a life of integrity mm -hmm. and, and, and you finish well. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a, an online program that we offer in right, now, right now to, to young people and also to, um, to leaders. Mm -hmm. um, and we do it via Zoom uh, every day from 5 to 6 and from 7 to 8. Mm -hmm. we, we, have, we have a program that we have designed just to help such people who are wondering now, what do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, how, what next? What is my purpose? What is my vision? How do I uh, live my purpose? And how do I know it in the first place? So, so it is important to, to know that those resources are there. And, and to ask for the relevant uh, and to the right people. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I always tell people, ask you, and be told no, rather than assuming that if I ask, atanibea baaji. Yeah. <laughs> so uliza tu ambiwe apana, ama ungoje kesho, mm -hmm. uh, lakini usi, usikai na shida yako, unakufia hapo, ukijuliza ujama atanibea baaji sasa. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, uh, we are out of time. Our camera for is you, uh, where you speak. Tell the youth something. Um, it matters. Kujibeba na hii corona, by the way. Um, the first thing you need to know is life ni yako. Corona ija kugonga peke yako. Imegonga kila mtu. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is an obstacle that we are facing. Mm -hmm. You can either choose to overcome it or eat to overcome you. So it is important for you rise above. G Jinue, uh, overcome the obstacle and be creative in what you do. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Tuki 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 tu normally tatu tuli TV abnormal so. Kabisa. Thank you so much, Santa uh, Timo, for coming and thank you. uh, your idea. Thank you so much for keeping us company back home. He has been my guest, uh, Timothy Nthagana. is a um, uh, motivational speaker. I hope you have learned something. And regarding uh, Masi Coletta, if you are in a position to help, please reach out and uh, we uh, can help someone because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you lived your life, but the love that you shared will count in the end. Coming up next is Why Masharik with JTS, Kaken Red Beast and Kalonlu. So stay tuned. My name is Deva Hilary. I'll be seeing you again next week on Monday. Enjoy the rest of our programming and good night and a blessed week ahead.